Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here to show you the brand new Intel NUC 5i5 RYK small form factor system. If you're unfamiliar with Intel's NUC products, NUC stands for Next Unit of Computing, and these ultra-tiny small form factor systems are used to highlight the kind of features and technology that can now be crammed into very, very small form factors. This particular machine is based on Intel's latest Broadwell U microarchitecture, and it's packing some really cool stuff. Let's dive in and take a look. Intel includes a handful of accessories with the NUC 5i5 RYK. Along with the system itself, you'll find a standard visa mount along with some basic documentation. There's also a really tiny power brick here, which includes a few different tips to plug the system into various electrical outlets across the globe. The Intel NUC 5i5 RYK is packing a 5th generation Core i5 5250U dual core processor that can turbo up to 2.7 GHz. It's got support for dual channel DDR3 RAM, built in support for Intel HD Graphics 6000, 7.1 channel audio, USB 3 and USB 2 support internal support for M.2 solid state drives and built-in gigabit ethernet and 802.11 AC wireless with Bluetooth 4. Now some of the parts you have to install yourself but we'll show you that in just a bit. The Intel NUC 5i5 RYK might be small in size but it's big on features. So here on the front we have a pair of USB 3 ports. The yellow one has built-in charging capabilities. This is a combo headphone and microphone jack. Behind this window is an infrared sensor. If we spin it around here, that side has some venting. The other side also has some venting along with a lock port. And on the back, we have some venting up top here. The power jack. This is a mini DP port. That's the RJ45 network port. Another pair of USB 3 ports and a mini HDMI port. One of the new features coming with this latest generation of NUC devices are removable lids. So it just simply snaps off. I've gone ahead and snapped it off on ours here. And what Intel sees is partners customizing these lids for either simple personalization or to add new features like say NFC. There's a built-in USB 2 header on the motherboards inside here so customers could add whatever they want to the lid and have it connect internally to add new features. As we mentioned earlier, there's a bit of assembly to do to get a system like the NUC 5i5 RYK up and running. Our particular kit is a bare bones kit, so it does not include a drive or memory. There may be full kits sold, but this particular kit does not include those parts. But assembling it is super easy. So you simply loosen these four thumb screws. The bottom pops right off. There it goes. So Here's the motherboard. This is the front of the system. This is the back of the system. You can see the locations for the various ports. Right here is an M.2 riser. That is the wireless controller for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And right here are the DIMM slots. Now, right here is a SATA port. This particular NUC doesn't have the room to support a two and a half inch drive, but there is a taller model available that will. You can pair that two and a half inch drive with an M SATA drive for additional storage. Now to fully assemble this, it's super easy. You take a couple of dims. Here's a beautiful HyperX kit from Kingston. You literally just slide that in, click it into place. Take the second one, slide it in, click it into place and here is a Samsung M SATA SSD this literally pops into the slot you sl pop it down and there's a screw that'll secure it right there when configured with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a fast SSD the NUC 5i5 RYK is a pretty fast little machine R scored 5268 in PC Mark 7 872 in the 3 Mark Firestrike benchmark 32.91 frames per second in Cinebench R15's OpenGL test and 263 Cinebench points in the CPU portion of that benchmark. And while it was doing that, power consumption was super low. The machine idles at only 6 watts and peaked at only 22 watts. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the Intel NUC 5i5 RYK small form factor system. 
If you want more details and complete benchmark scores, please come by the site and check out the full review. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.